Hello there guys, welcome back to Eunice Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video, I hope all of you are doing well today. This is a video that I thought I'd needed to do because yesterday we found out the Champions League semi-finalists, we found out who made it through, Manchester City beating Borussia Dortmund 2-1 and therefore making it through to the semi-final where they will be playing against PSG. That is a semi-final that is going to make sure everyone has saliva dropping from their mouths. It's as simple as that. It's a crazy semi-final. PSG versus Manchester City. Who's going to come out on top? I can't call it. But Real Madrid also drawing 0-0 at Anfield against Liverpool, which meant that they went through on a 3-1 aggregate score. And therefore, Real Madrid will be playing yours truly, Chelsea Football Club, in the semi-final of the Champions League. That happened. And immediately afterwards, I started seeing everything on the Twitter line. I started seeing posts on Instagram. I started seeing comments made on YouTube videos. Eden Hazard's coming home. Hazard's coming back to Stamford Bridge. Oh, Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard. It's just the whole thing was flooded with Eden Hazard. Now, no disrespect to Eden Hazard. I love Eden Hazard. One of our best ever players. 100%. And I appreciate the fact that Chelsea... Um, we'll get to see Eden Hazard again and Eden Hazard will get to see Chelsea again and Eden Hazard will get to come back to Stamford Bridge for one night only where he will be in familiar surroundings and we don't know whether that, that's going to be in the capacity of a player like on the pitch selected to play or if he's just a member of the squad and he won't actually be playing. We'll see what happens. Personally, I don't see him playing. I just don't. I think that with his injuries, with the fact that Real Madrid have managed to get this far now without him, where they've managed to get Benzema firing. They've got Vinicius playing really well. They've got Vasquez playing really well. They've got Tony Cruz, Modric. The, the, whole, the whole lot is looking decent without Eden Hazard. He might feature, don't get me wrong, and I think Zidane possibly might go, you know what, Eden Hazard has the experience against an English side, he has the experience of playing for Chelsea, the team we're playing against, he knows a few of the lads, maybe there's an advantage there. So I wouldn't be entirely surprised if they managed to rush him back and all of a sudden he's available for selection. However, I just feel with the injuries that he's had, I just don't think he's going to be 100% and therefore I don't think he'll be playing. But... It'll be good to see him regardless. That I'm not I'm not taking that away from anyone. It will be good to see Eden Hazard. However, the one thing I wanted to mention is many Chelsea fans just showing too much love. Too much love and too much compassion. And it's all of a sudden become Eden Hazard this, Eden Hazard that, oh Eden Hazard this. And I'm like, listen, it's a semi-final. Eden Hazard is coming back to Stamford Bridge, not to see us. He's coming back to Stamford Bridge to knock us out. He's coming back to Stamford Bridge to get Real Madrid through to the Champions League final, not Chelsea to the Champions League final. That needs to be at the forefront. And I stress this because this isn't a last 32 group stage game where, you know, OK, regardless of the result, it's fine. We've still got five other matches to play. It will be OK. No, no, no. This is a Champions League semi-final. This will determine whether Chelsea get to the Champions League final. A Champions League final for the third time in our history. You know, we are 180 minutes away from a Champions League final. Final! If you had said this in December, January, I think any one of us would have slapped you in the face. It's as simple as that. No one thought Chelsea would be in a Champions League semi-final. You know, but here we are. Now, I don't want it to get to a point now where all of a sudden we're focusing more on Eden Hazard and the fact that he's showing up at Stamford Bridge again and we're all going to be focused on, oh, yeah, we get to see Hazard again. Yeah, oh, where's Eden Hazard? Oh, we want to see Hazard. Rather than, let's go and destroy Real Madrid, please. That way we can get to a Champions League final. It's as simple as that. The truth of the matter is this. As I've said, it will be good to see Eden Hazard, right? But that ends immediately after we see him for the first time. When we see him, oh great, Eden Hazard's here, fantastic, I hope you're well. Okay, let's focus on beating him, please. You know, and then 90 minutes of absolute ruthlessness. We gotta be ruthless. Chelsea have to be absolutely ruthless. Simple as that. There's no two ways about it. We need to be at the top of our game. We need to bring our A game. Why? Because Real Madrid are not mugs. They have a top team. Now, as much of a top team they have, I think they're beatable. 
And this is why I'm fired up. Because if I saw that Real Madrid are a bit too much to handle, I'd be looking at this and going, okay, uh, you know, maybe we're not making it through. But let's just try our best. No, 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 no. Real Madrid are beatable. Real Madrid are very beatable. And I do think as good as they look, and as good as they were against Liverpool, I think that isn't much testament to the fact that Real Madrid were really good. I think that's testament to the fact that Liverpool pretty much didn't really do anything, you know? And by that, I mean Liverpool didn't show what we've seen them to show in the last two, three, four years, you know? And I truly think there's a thing with Liverpool and fans. They need the cop. They need the fans around them. Without that, it's like kryptonite is all of a sudden an issue. It's like without the fans, they can't play. And by that, I mean there's no urgency. There's no intensity. You didn't see them press as aggressively as they are known to press aggressive. You know, you saw last season, the season before when fans were in the stadium, how much they actually give. It didn't really look like they gave that much. You know, they didn't. They didn't show up with that urgency to really try and win every ball, every challenge, every second ball, every try and make life hard for Real Madrid and dominate the game. They didn't do any of that. Real Madrid found it easy. You know, I want to say that they found it easy. And as good as a team that they have, you know, I'm, I'm not taking anything away from them. They're, they're midfield, um, they're front line. Benzema's absolutely killing it at the moment. Vinicius is looking like a danger. Vasquez is complementing really well. Tony Cruz is playing decent. Modric is playing very well. Defensively, they look like they have good shape. They've got players to come back. So Joe Ramos, for example. I mean, on paper, you look at Real Madrid and you think, wow. You know, but they are beatable. Their La Liga form and even their early Champions League form tells you that. They almost got eliminated. You know, let's remember that. When they faced Atalanta, there was a moment there where people were thinking, oh, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, but no. They got through and fair play to them. They had that grit about them and they managed to get through. Against Liverpool, though, I just think there's more about Liverpool not really putting them to the sword. Chelsea, I think, will put them to the sword. I think Chelsea will be a harder test for Real Madrid than Liverpool. I think the way that Thomas Tuchel sets Chelsea up and the fact that we have that adaptability about our game now under Thomas Tuchel, I think we can set up in a way that is going to frustrate Real Madrid and at the same time allow us space to exploit and hopefully get goals, take the lead, take the wins, and hopefully go to the Champions League final. That is the one thing that I have at the forefront and why I am so fired up for this fixture because I know we can beat Real Madrid. We can. I don't want any compassion or love to get in the way of that because I want to see Chelsea in the Champions League final regardless if it's Eden Hazard that we're seeing again or anyone, right? I don't want that getting in the way and that's, fit. that's why I think fans need to really have that at the forefront. And yes, it would be nice to see him. I'm not taking anything away from Eden Hazard. He's a Chelsea legend. Absolutely. But we see him. Great, Eden. Nice one. I hope you're well, now I'm here to beat you, please. Please step out the way or I'm going to take you out. It's one of them, you know? So we'll see what happens. But I thought I'd get that across. Another thing that I want to focus on, because there is another man that's coming back to Stamford Bridge. It's not just Eden Hazard who is returning to Stamford Bridge. There's a certain other individual. Some will refer to this person as a snake. Um, I like to think in, um, in, in the same way, if I'm honest. But he said something yesterday. He said something to be in sports immediately after Real Madrid qualified after beating, well, after getting through against Liverpool. He said this. Let's check this out and react. I wish there were public fans at Stamford Bridge because obviously... I have a lot of happy memories there. And maybe my departure wasn't in the best way. Tebow, are you, are you all right? Maybe my departure wasn't in the best way. Maybe. Is this guy serious? This guy stopped showing up for training to force a move. He stopped showing up for training to force a move. And then try to use his family as the excuse to get himself out of the club, yet to, to, uh, to go to Real Madrid. And once he got to Real Madrid, we didn't hear him mention his family once. That's one thing. So, you know. Now, I'm not saying that family wasn't a, a factor or an issue, but it sure as hell wasn't the prime reason. 
because if it was the prime reason, all he had to do was tell the club and, you know, make it known to them that, look, I really want to go. I'm really sorry. I, I, I miss my family. I've got my circumstances. I just have to go. I will stay professional up until the opportunity arises, but I want to go. If he made that clear, Chelsea would have helped him. Chelsea are not a club to hold a player hostage or hold a player that doesn't want to be there. I think we've seen players come and go and players that we really like to keep on to. Eden Hazard being one of them. He made his wish uh, public. He made his wish known to Chelsea that he wants to go to Real Madrid. Chelsea granted him the wish. Good luck to you. See you later. All the best. But Eden Hazard stayed professional. And not just that. He stayed until the very last minute. Ch uh, Europa League game. Europa League final against Arsenal. Put on a top class performance. And then waved goodbye. After getting us the Europa League trophy. That is a way to exit the club. Thibaut Courtois didn't. Yet he wants to say that he may be... Maybe his departure wasn't the best way. Mate, you are lucky. He's trying to say that, they, that he wishes there were fans at Stamford Bridge. You are lucky there's no fans at Stamford Bridge, mate. And that is why you are saying that. Because you know there won't be any fans there. If there were fans there, you sure as hell wouldn't be mentioning that. Because you know, as well as I do, as well as everyone... The Matthew Harding um, end and the shed end where the two goals are at Stamford Bridge, you'd have Chelsea fans two metres away from you at either end, shed end or Matthew Harding end. You know you'd be getting so much abuse and so much grief that I don't think you'd last 90 minutes. You'd probably have to be subbed off. That's how drastic and crazy it would have been. But luckily for you, mate, you won't have any fans there. So we'll see you in two weeks. But all I'm going to say is this. Chelsea Football Club, mate, I hope we pack him in, please. Timo Werner, if you want to be forgiven for every single miss that you've had at Chelsea Football Club and become a cult hero, much like Fernando Torres has become a cult hero because he scored one goal in Barcelona that was actually worth £50 million. We forgot every single miss before that because he scored that one goal. If you want to go down the same route and become a Chelsea cult hero, then please, Timo, fire some goals past this guy and you will become a Chelsea legend instantly that is all I'm going to say I hope we pack Thibaut Courtois in home and away and we go to the Champions League final fingers crossed we need to have that fire about us that motivation and that grit that we are going to get through Real Madrid because we can do it anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section below I'd love to hear your opinions on Eden Hazard coming home and the fact that I said don't show too much love to Eden Hazard because we've got a bigger objective here. We've got something at the forefront and Eden Hazard hasn't come to say hello to us. He's come to knock us out. We need to bear that in mind. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. I'd love to hear that. And your thoughts on Thibaut Courtois' comments. What do you think about what he has said? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to be here tomorrow for the match preview to Manchester City versus Chelsea. FA Cup semi-final. It's getting serious for Chelsea now. We have a game every three to four days now until the end of the season. And it's all big games. FA Cup semi-final. Big Premier League game. Big Premier League game. Champions League semi-final. Big Premier League game. Champions League semi-final. Big Premier League game. Possibly an FA Cup final. Possibly a Champions League final. It's about to get crazy up in here. So... Honestly, I'm looking forward to, to Saturday. Your match preview will be here tomorrow. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit the like button if you, if you did enjoy this video. Much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. And I will see all of you tomorrow on the Manchester City versus Chelsea FA Cup preview. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Look after yourselves. Take care and peace.